Welcome. This is the end of course algebra 1 practice test number 3 question number 29. The question says which expression is equivalent to 5 uh, the quantity 5x plus 2 times the quantity 2x minus 3. And then it gives me three choices. I'm going to show you how I would do this in a very functional mathematic way. Uh, I'm going to use foil most likely is what you probably called it. And on the other side I'm going to show you the way that you can still get the answer even if you forget everything that's mathematically appropriate and just have to go with something else in your test day nerves it happens anyway um, so these are two binomials I'm gonna multiply them together I know it's multiply because there's no sign in between the two uh, parentheses if it had a plus in the middle all I could do at that point is just combine like terms so I'm just gonna use foil which is front outside inside last but I don't really like to talk about foil I tend to think all I want to do is make sure every term in the front multiplies by every term in the back one time so sometimes I even do a little bit of uh, putting boxes around the numbers on the back end of both uh, binomials just because it reminds me what the signs are but you know that's just me so I want 5x to multiply by 2x so that would be 5 times 2 is 10 and there's x to the first power and x to the first power and when you uh, multiply numbers or the coefficients you want to add the exponent so x squared then I want to make sure that I do 5 times negative 3 so minus 15x that's the reason the box is there to remind me it's negative sometimes that kind of visual cue is a good idea uh, then you have 2 times 2 which is of course positive 4x or plus 4x in this case and then I want 2 times negative 3 which is minus 6 now I'm left with the idea that I'm adding my coefficients or the numbers in front of the uh, the variables so I can't do anything to the exponents I'm at the combined like term stage so I tend to mark things up if they have x squared there's two lines single x's get one line and nothing for my constant term negative 15 plus 4 is the only thing that I can do from here on out and it ends up being negative 11 x minus 6 and I want to bring down 10 x squared so there's that answer the answer to uh, number 29 is C well what happens if you just kinda lose it and you forget how to do it on test day because of nerves or whatever well the calculator can provide some support if you have uh, the right type some sort of TI-84 equivalent that sort of thing if you go in turn it on don't worry Texas Instruments I have a TI-84 I have a ton of them actually my own personal ones I have a ton so I'm not just using an emulator for no reason uh, you need to set your x value which is this is just a calculated trick it has no mathematical uh, integrity to it but if you hit x if it's zero you need to change it all you have to do is if I wanted to change it to five I would change my x max and x min to negative five and five but the big deal is I need to go to the graphing section and graph something with x in it if you don't hit this and graph it it won't change the value of x like I said, it's just a calculator trick. Now x value is 10. As long as it's something in that general area, and if you get an error when you do it and you've typed everything incorrectly, then you could change it to 7 or something else and it'll you know, work out fine. Just change your x max to 7 and your x min to negative 7. Anyway, I'm going to type in my question, the uh, 5x plus 2, and this would work no matter what the variable is, as long as there's only one variable. If it has an x and a y, this doesn't work. It's just It happens to work here, so I thought I'd show you and you hit enter. I'm uh, 884 is what the calculator pops out and basically only one of these will give me that answer. If they were factored out, there's a common factor factored out front, I would check all of them to make sure that I uh, chose the one that has the largest factor out in the front, but they don't have common factors here. They just did uh, quadratic factoring. So I'm going to type in my answer that I think it is 10 x squared minus 11 x minus 6 and I end up with 884. So my question and answer are the same number. So it's the right answer. I, I'll show you that it doesn't work for D just in case you've never seen uh, this before. Like I said, it's kind of a terrible thing to know, but you got to do what you got to do. Uh, 804 and 884 are not the same thing, so D is not the correct answer. So that's it. Uh, choose your own adventure on what method that you have to use. Uh, your preference should be the first one because you're going to need it in Algebra 2, but you know it's your conscience or you know you sometimes you just have to get by when you get nervous so good luck